So you can see I've got these two MIDI clips on two different MIDI tracks right now. If you double click on the name of the track, you can see the instrument or device loaded onto that track. I have this grand piano I loaded from the instruments folder. Um, I like the grand piano to start out just finding out like the melody and figuring out the notes. And then you can always swap out the grand piano for a different instrument and sound later. Uh, a lot of times I think it's really helpful for coming up with a melody is starting with the beginning notes and the ending notes and filling everything in between is a good way to come up with a melody and a progression as an inspiration for like four or eight bars. So let's hear what we have so far right now. So it's just something I came up with really fast. So I can swap out this instrument pretty easily. Um, you can either just double click on a new sound and it'll just replace the sound for that MIDI track, or you could use what's called hot swapping. And there's this little arrow button right now. And these little squiggly arrows will allow you to swap out that specific device that the hot swap is on um, for whatever else you want. So I can swap out this grand piano sound for another instrument while the MIDI clip is actually playing in real time. So you can just scroll through different things when you're in hot swap mode and you'll see it turns orange up here at the top. Um, there's this one preset sound it's called clicky that I like. So I'll just swap it out in hot swap mode. Just double click on it and now it swapped out that grand piano for this. I encourage everybody as you're composing and working through different clips and creating your own song is using scenes. So you'll notice over here on the right you have all these numbers. If I hit the play button, what it does is it actually plays every clip slot within that row all the way across the different tracks. So if I put this grand piano clip right here, um, it's actually clicky now, and I have a another instrument over here with this clip. And what I'm gonna do is start to organize and compose these different scenes um, such as having an intro, verse one, for, uh, verse two, chorus, etc., And that's typically, I find one of the best workflows for me and a lot of other producers do that use Ableton. Um, it's just kind of like an idea board for structuring out your song in the beginning. Some people jump straight into arrangement view and just start working in there. And that's totally fine. But like I said earlier, the more familiar you are with in session view um, what's going on, the better off you are producing in Ableton overall and also working in arrangement view. Arrangement view is not hard at all. So I encourage you to start producing and arranging the beginning of your songs and dragging your clips around and launching them into different scenes and then recording that into arrangement view later, which we'll talk about later on. So let's right click and duplicate this clip. You can choose command D as well. And when you do that, it'll just drop the exact same clip to the next slot below. And so let's launch scene one. And we'll hear whatever's in that row. And then when I launch the next scene, it's going to play whatever's in that row. So you'll notice the clip before is cut off. And now I can continue to build out the drum rack. There's a pack called Beat Tools that you can get. Um, I believe it comes free with Ableton Live 9 Suite. I highly recommend it. Um, it has a lot of different effects and samples and things you can use. I'm gonna go into Beat Tools pack and I'm gonna grab a drum loop. And it's cool because it organizes the folders by BPM. So I can just look at my project tempo and see it's 70 BPM. And so I'll just choose something from that folder. So what I did is I just dropped this into an audio track. I can right click and duplicate that clip. Um, Command D is the shortcut, if you remember. So I'll just click on this clip and hit Command D and then it's right there. And now I've got my scene three already laid out with this drum loop. And so I can play out the song. So it sounds like this.
So remember, one of the fun things inside of our sample box, or I'm sorry, inside of a clip, is we have the option to double time or half time the clip itself. So we haven't gone over audio clips yet um, with the sample box, but it's, it's pretty similar to what we're seeing here. We'll go into that in another video, but you can just double time or half time um, any audio clip by selecting these buttons. So I can double time it. Hopefully you get the idea of using scenes. It's a powerful way to start compose your song. And then, like I said earlier, we can record it into arrangement view and get a lot more surgical about how we build out our song.